All right, 19, we got the nutritionist examined the sodium content of different brands of potato chips. Each brand was classified as either healthy or regular based on how the chips were marketed to the public. The sodium contents in milligrams per serving of the chips are summarized in the box plots below. Okay, so here we have healthy chips on the bottom, regular chips on the top. Based on the box plots, which, which statement gives a correct comparison of the, between the two classifications of the sodium content of the chips? Okay, so let's see what we got. Um, a, the number of brands classified as healthy is greater than the number of brands classified. That's, this is not A for stone. The brands, we, were, we have one brand here and another brand here. This, this is not dealing with the brands. This is dealing with sodium content. So not A. B, the interquartile range of the brands classified as healthy um, is greater than the IQR. So, oh yeah, so yeah, the so IQR, remember the IQR is a, di is a distance from Q1 to Q3 or the length of that inner box. So this is IQR for um, the healthy chips. And then um, that is greater than the IQR for the regular chips. So this is much greater than that. I mean, I guess that's correct. I guess that's our answer. I mean, let's, let me just look at the other one to see what the deal is. The range of the brands classified as healthy is less than the range of the brands classified as regular. The range, remember, is the distance from the lowest from the min to the max. So the range is going to be from here to here, 75 to like almost like maybe 290. And the range for the regular, so the range looks like it's actually bigger for um, healthy chips. So it's not going to be C. The median, class, the median of the brands classified as healthy is more than twice the median of the brands classified as regular. So the median is this middle line of the um, box plot. So the median for healthy chips is 200, while the median for regular chips is 175. And that is not more than twice you know, 200 is not more than twice 175. So it's not D. And the and E, the brand with the least sodium content and the brand with the greatest sodium content are both classified as healthy. Mm, the brand with the least, the, the brand with the least is over here. This is the least. The brand with the most is in this group. So no, it wouldn't be part. So the answer is definitely B. All right, 20. Fact, a factory has two machines, A and B, making the same parts for refrigerators. The number of defective parts produced by each machine during the first hour of production was recorded on 19 randomly selected days. The scatter plot below shows the number of defective parts produced by each machine on selected days. Which statement gives the best comparison between the number of defective parts produced by the machines during the first hour of production on the 19 days? Okay, so um, we have the, the machine A measured on the X or horizontal axis and machine B measured on the vertical axis. And so what, what's a, a good uh, reference line is to use the line just Y equals X, like the standard. I, had, I just had a fly line on my table. So I just had to, let me how you set it dispose of them. So my apologies for the distraction. Okay, anyways. Um, let's use, so we can use the line y equals x to make it much easy to reference which one is, you know, greater than the other. Assuming this is the x-axis and this will be the y. So um, whenever you have points below this line, that means the machine A is greater than B. As you can see here, we have a point seven comma five. When it's on the line, they're both equal. And when it's over here, B is greater. So let's put B is greater. And here A is greater. So you can see usually the machine B um, has, has a greater number of defective parts than machine A. So there's more points over here. Not always, but for the majority, it looks like that. Um, so let's see what would be the best answer. Machine A always produces always produces the same number of defective parts. No, because it would be the same number would be all on the line. So not A. Machine B, machine A always produces fewer defective. So not that's not always, again, not always. 
too uh too intense. C machine A always produced more. It's again same thing. Not it's not always. Sometimes only. Sometimes it produces more. And D machine A usually but not always produce fewer defective parts. Than machine B. Yeah, because again there's only a few points over here. So usually but not always. So the answer would be D.